a nurse was attacked by this guy right here in this photo. Now he's sentenced to life, been in prison since 2004. He's out of department custody right now at the county jail, the Polk County Jail, facing more charges for attacking a medical nurse. This guy is in for burglary and assault, sexual battery, attempted felony murder, false imprisonment, sexual battery again, and a sexual battery once more. But, like I always say, a lot of these guys come into prison and continue with the same crimes that they were doing on the street. And this guy attacked a nurse. We don't know why he was alone with the nurse. He's close custody. We don't know how he got to be in the predicament that uh, the nurse and he were alone, but he, he grabbed her and fondled her is all the information I can find out right now. But he is in county jail on new charges uh, for attacking a medical nurse at a prison. Now, does he care? Probably not. He's in for life. So what do we need to do when we have guys like this? He's in for life for sexual batteries and assaults. He's close custody. We need to keep care of our nurses. We need to make sure the nurses are not alone with this type, not alone with the inmates. We need somebody to be in there with the nurse. I know we're short staffed, but even though we're short staffed, when it comes time for med pass, when it comes time for medical call out, we must have some type of security up there watching, protecting our medical nurses. Now, yes, our medical nurses need to be trained in security and awareness. Should, should this nurse have turned him away? Well, you know, who, however he got up there, he got up there and he attacked the nurse. So we need to do a better job either way you look at it. We need the nursing staff and the correctional officers to communicate, work together. I hate it when I hear that a nurse asks an officer, can you help me with this med pass just by watching or, or escorting me? No, I haven't got time for that shit. Now that's happened, folks. Or, hey, I, this guy scares me. He's close custody. Can you watch him while I ex ex make a, a medical examination or take his blood pressure or give him his meds, whatever? I haven't got time for that shit. No, that's not the answer, folks. That's not the answer. We work together, okay? This guy, this dirtbag, is not the only one in prison that has uh, numerous sexual assaults and false imprisonments on the outside. You don't think they're going to do it again on the inside, given the opportunity, given the chance, given those two minutes alone with a nurse? You don't think they're going to take advantage of that? They're locked up in prison, number one. Number two, guys like this one are locked up for life. They got nothing to lose but to maybe harm, rape, murder, or kill a nurse. And I'm just going to put it out there as bluntly as I can because that's the truth. And at the minimum, they're going to cop a feel on a nurse and get their jollies, okay? We cannot allow this to happen. We have to protect our nurses, just like we have to protect our fellow brothers and sisters in uniform, right? We watch them, head on a swivel, 24-7, let's watch out for each other. We do the same for the nurses, okay, folks? I'm going to make it short and sweet. I got my point across, I'm pretty sure. Now, let's work together, protect each other, look out for each other. And when one, whether it's a civilian staff member, a medical nurse, correctional nurse, or a uniformed officer calling for help or asking for assistance, let's take those extra few minutes and do it, okay? Let's save somebody. Now this nurse, is she scared to come back to work? I don't know. She may not be. She may say, okay, thank God he didn't hurt me. But uh, he just copped a feel. But, you know, that's bad enough. That, that, that makes you have uh, stressors in the workplace. Now, will she be stressed out, worried about what the next inmate will do? Well, yeah, I would think so. Even if she says she is, and I would think in the back of her mind, that's a work stressor, right? She just went through a stressful situation. That's always going to be in her mind somewhere, folks. Let's prevent these things from happening. All right. 
let's say a prayer for all the uh, nurses across the country everywhere and for corrections especially our job our field our profession and give us a prayer here in Central Florida this is the calm before the storm we've got a major hurricane and it's aimed right at my farm and our Central Florida area so I've already battened down the hatches as you can see there's nothing on my pavilion anymore everything's been moved off and placed in the barn we've battened, battened down all the hatches and we're just gonna pray now that this thing uh, weakens out before it gets to Central Florida. Thank you, folks. Take care. Subscribe. Gary York, True Prison Stories, Back to Blue.